what is going on YouTube so the deadline is up I told you guys it was gonna be a deadline on me wanting to sell the vet or see what I could get on a trading offer or whatever but deadlines over we've decided to keep the vet and uh, we are going to mod it the only the only reason I would get rid, rid of the vet is if I really really needed the money uh, and uh, needed to do some renovations on my home or anything like that uh, but we're you know I'm working hard at getting and uh, my savings back up where, where they used to be so uh, I don't see that happening um, anytime soon is it snowing bro it looks like it's snowing a little bit what the heck it's about it's about 30 degrees out here today and uh, but <clears throat> I wanted to ask you guys any C5 Corvette owners out there what is the regular temperature that you guys run depending on the weather and things like that i'm debating over a front splitter which one i'm gonna get i don't want to spend four or five six hundred dollars on a splitter that have the vent on in the middle but i will if i need to but here in tennessee the weather changes all the time especially right now sometimes it's 30 sometimes it's 65 sometimes it's 70 and i've seen an average temperature on my uh, on my on my car for about 170 uh it'll get it'll get up there to 180 185 if, if i'm just stopped and if i do i don't know something crazy but that's the highest i've seen it 180 185 these are uh what are they called uh i forgot the word they get the air to cool down the radiator from the from underneath the car um bottom feeders that's that's what they're called um that's what they get the air to cool off the 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 engine the radiator so um i am trying to get you know that there's mods coming for the vet um soon i don't want to give you a specific timeline but they're, they're coming soon but i'm debating on the splitter because i want to uh you, you guys already know the phase one is going to be appearance mods and stuff like that so we're going to get a front splitter for the vet so we need to get one that will not um make the car overheat because i know that if you block the air from underneath the car it's going to overheat to maybe 220 230 and i don't want that so i'm looking at the zr1 splitter i used to have it on my other vet but i just can't remember if it used to overheat or I i'd never checked the temps on that car i really didn't know this car is a maybe weekend cruiser you guys know that uh i take it out every every once in a while it doesn't you know get driven a lot so i'm not too too worried if it if i'm on the highway on stop and go kind of traffic so i'm not too worried about that i just don't want it to to, to overheat in any type of situations if i go on like a cruise or something you know and uh i do have a solution for that if it does happen because i'm not gonna like i said i'm not gonna buy a uh, uh, a splitter if i don't have any ways around the splitter that i'm going to go with which is like 130 bucks so the other way around it is uh getting the splitter that obviously covers this part right here and then getting a vent they do sell there's this guy on instagram that sells vented uh license plate fillers so pretty much is it's it's you take this off you cut a hole on the actual bumper on on the back side and then you have to cut it you have to take the bumper off you have to cut in uh the plastic that's uh over the radiator <coughs> if you're a c5 owner you know what i'm talking about that way the filler um serves its purpose to allowing air into this and going to the the radiator because right now it's going here and then there's this little uh, i don't know if you can see it this little uh, scoop there that allows the air to go up in there but we're gonna see what uh what we get and like i said the vet is staying so you guys don't have to worry about me changing cars again you know what i'm saying Cause a lot of people are like bro just change i'm not the only channel out there yo like if you guys want to see something else man go there's so many channels out there bro i'm just this is this is my hobby this is what i like and if you don't like what i what i put out just simply and subscribe simple as that i just it boggles my mind and it makes me uh it just you know what i'm not gonna give uh any more attention to that because it's neither here nor there and i'm gonna do what i'm gonna do anyway so um the vet is staying i'm <laughs> pumped on how it's gonna uh look you know after the after the mods and stuff like that so you guys make sure you tune in make sure you uh 
uh, subscribe to the channel and things like that turn on notifications all that good jazz we're gonna be taking the car uh, just to the gym there in Hendersonville and uh, I'm gonna be watching the temps to see how uh, the temps are at like I said it's about 30 degrees right now and we're gonna see what it goes up to and uh, kind of get a uh, before I put the front splitter kind of uh, video and see what my temps were before and after the splitter the weather is gonna be a big factor because like I said the weather changes all the time out here and it's just I don't know but it looks like it's snowing a little bit so I'm about to go inside and get a little bit of heat but uh let me know let me know in the comment section what your regular temperature is and what you've done to uh you know run a splitter or what you guys have been doing so for the people that was praying for my downfall <laughs> so guess what i got in the mail today bro so I remember the story that i was telling you guys that you know the the title was uh was showing a lot more mileage than what it actually was. We had to get, I had to get with the old owner that sold it to me and she was a little bit hesitant. She helped me out. We got everything, all the affidavits done, had to take it to the clerk and uh, get everything situated. And guess what I got in the mail today? I got the revised title with the actual mileage and uh, I'm just gonna show just a little bit of it. So right there. 3,000, hold on, Three th no, 37,522. That's the mileage that I got the car for. So now we're just gonna ship this over to the new owner. He sent me a picture of the car. It's sitting pretty in the garage. He can't wait to drive it. He, uh, he said he's gonna let me uh, see it every once in a while whenever he, he's, he's in town. Uh, I think he only lives like two three hours away from me. He said I'm always down to to uh, you know uh, Come out there and uh, maybe uh, See the car and if I ever get you know the chance in the future to uh, you know purchase it You know I'm saying he said he might you know give me a little hand and uh, give give me the car back but I'm so happy that the Camaro as a uh, is with an owner that is gonna take care of her uh, It's a uh, collect collector's car for him he has so many literally the day that he bought mine he bought a uh <clears throat> i think it would say 68 camaro and he sh he sent me a picture of it right next to the camaro and i was like yo i'm so glad this car went to you because it's being taken care of it's being baby like it should and uh we're gonna get this we're getting this uh shipped out to him so everything worked out great everything's good to go and we out here we stay winning. Also, the Corvette is right there. It's always good to kind of see what you've been working for. Uh, this is my little office space. And uh, every time that I that I can, you know, I just kind of look around and uh, look at the vet, look at the house and count my blessings. So I appreciate everything that goes in my life. You know, the goods and the bads. It rains, rains only for a little bit, but the sun always comes out. Up got the I want to get the sleepy eye mod for this car I really do like the look I think there's like three versions out there right now we'll see what we get but like I said I don't think the I don't think the splitter is going to uh, phone brother I don't think the uh, Let's see if this is trying to say there you go i don't think the uh splitter is going to be uh any issues at all since it's still really cold if anything i might get that cooling mod from the front license plate and cut the uh the plastic closer to summertime if it starts to overheat a lot but in the winter it shouldn't uh be an issue we're gonna order it soon, install it, and see you know how how it uh, how it performs. But we're gonna just test and see what my cooling temps are uh, stay at average. Uh, the trip to my gym in Hendersonville is about 25 minutes. I go there every every once in a while. It's like 10 bucks a month, so it's not really that much. And we're, we're gonna see what uh, the temps are looking like 
on average. So uh, we'll see. I really need that harness because that uh, flickering sometimes stops starts to uh, go crazy if I don't adjust the light really quick. So for some reason, if you don't have the harness and you uh, install LEDs, I know I gotta change the oil. I know, I know, I know. I gotta do it this weekend, but so. The way to close the uh, headlights now is w without the harness. I'm assuming, I'm not sure, because the LEDs are triggering everything, going crazy. But I have to turn it off, turn the lights off, and it's doing that flickering thing, and then I gotta press forward. And then to get them on again, I got to, whenever it hasn't been driven, if it's like, if it's the first time coming in here for that day, you have to do it twice. So you, you gotta push it forward, back, push it forward again, and then they they pop up. I don't know if that's an issue with the headlights themselves or what, but I mean, they, they work. That's all that matters, honestly. So I'm gonna go and, uh, like I said, go into the gym right now. I heard, I heard eating some Krispies, some Rice Krispies, um, it gets you a really good workout, and plus, I got the good old C4. This is honestly like a pre-work, like this is honestly a pre-workout in a in a can. The other ones are kind of more like an energy drink that they don't give you that pre-workout sensation. They just kind of like wake you up a little bit. But this one has beta alanine. This one has everything that the C4 has. I'm assuming because it gives me like the same effect. So we're gonna eat the Rice Krispie and we're gonna head to the gym. Coolant temps is at 165 right now and uh we'll see what happens so let's go all right so we've been cruising for a little bit and my temps are at one it goes from 172 to 174 if i'm at a stop it goes to like 176 178 so that it's pretty much the average i mean Whenever I cruise at 70, cruising at 50 or whatever, it stays around the same. So I don't think the lip is gonna become a big issue. If it does, and it jumps up like 20, 40, 40 degrees, then you know, we'll have to get that thing again, like I've been saying, but hopefully, fingers crossed, uh, because it doesn't cause an issue. Uh, but we're gonna keep just cruising around, see what we, uh, we go to it went up to 176 right now maybe because of the road the road was uh going uphill so i don't know maybe that didn't do anything with it but i'm starting to get uh the little kick from the pre-workout so we'll be close to the gym soon all right this is the end of the video make sure you let me know what you guys have done if you guys have ran any splitter which splitter uh, if you don't mind, if you have a splitter in mind that you want me to take a look into, uh, DM me on my Instagram, underscore SGO, underscore five, underscore, and let me know what you guys are running and let me know what is the temperature, the temp, the coolant temp that your car runs, uh, on average. I want to, uh, kind of get an idea of, uh, what the C5 should be running. So with that being said, thank you guys again for watching, and uh, I'm going to enjoy, actually went to Hendersonville and got one of my favorite dishes here. It's called, it's 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 translated with uh, uh, creamy chicken, and it's pretty much creamy chicken with a side of, of beans and rice. Literally my favorite dish every time I go out there, paired with some, uh, oh dang, they didn't give me red sauce, did they? They probably had ran out. Uh, well, we're going to stick to uh, some green sauces. They actually hooked me up with uh, two tortillas. I told the guy there because he dude knows me. So I was like, hook me up, man. 
but yeah let me know what you guys uh are running and uh we're gonna order one soon the harness we need to order order that harness uh a lot of goodies will come here soon tune in for all the videos subscribe turn on notifications and we'll see you guys in the next video peace